Amen. It's um, time for prayer in the house. We ask that you all stand if you can in Jesus' name. We just ask that you would prepare your hearts and truly just, you know, tune in, you know, as we pray to our Father this morning in Jesus' name. I want to start by thanking God for the little things, such as waking us up this morning and um, bringing us here safely. Thank you for the clothes on our back and the shoes on our feet. Thank you for... Um, clean water and uh, that there's no um, um, like you know war in the air I mean some places there is right now thank you for our church family and our friends thank you Jesus for our um, let's see our, uh, our church family and our friends and our families and Please forgive us for anything that we have done in the past and anything that we may be doing now that is um, not unlike you. Please save our friends, our family, our coworkers who are unsaved. And also thank you for being our provider, our protector, our healer, our light. Thank you for your word. Thank you for being truth. Please have your way in this atmosphere. Make your way and touch us in the way that you only know how to touch us. Thank you, Jesus. God. Glory to God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for that prayer, oh God. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for who you are, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you again for allowing us to be here, God. We thank you, hallelujah, to God, for who you are, God. We thank you, oh God, for our lives that are hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, oh God, for being a good, good father. We thank you, oh God, for being our provider, God. We thank you, Lord God, for keeping us all week long in the mighty name of Jesus my God how good you are for keeping us God day in and day out oh God through all the situations that we faced this past week God in the name of Jesus God God we thank you for your mercy and your grace oh God we thank you Lord God for giving us strength oh God to endure Lord God through every single trial God in the name of Jesus oh God through every test in the name of Jesus God we thank you because we know God that the storms and trials are to strengthen us oh God in the name of Jesus oh God to prepare us oh God for where you are taking us in the name of Jesus so we thank you that you never fail us oh God we thank you that all things work together for good to them who love you who are called according to your purpose oh God so we thank you for the plans that you have for our life oh God we thank you that nothing is wasted with you oh God we thank you Lord God in the name of Jesus oh God for who you are and all that you have done are doing will when will continue to do oh God we thank you Lord God for orchestrating our lives oh God greater than we could ever do oh God in the name of Jesus we thank you oh God God, we thank you that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for what you are doing in this hour, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah to God, for what you are doing in the lives of your people, oh God. The ones who have been faithful, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You said, Lord God, that uh, this is a season where you are rewarding the faithful, oh God. So we thank you, Lord God, hallelujah to God. We thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing in this hour, oh God. Oh God, we thank you how you are raising up a remnant, oh God, in the name of Jesus oh God, who are unashamed and unafraid of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh God, for it is a power of salvation unto everyone who believes in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah to God. So we thank you, oh God. Again, we thank you, oh God, just for who you are, God. We thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, for we live we live, move, and have our being in you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, because we are nothing without you, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, that is why we are here today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is why we are here today, oh God. Oh God, to serve you, oh God, to worship you, oh God. Oh God, for giving us another chance, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, to see another day. We thank you, Lord God. Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name, oh God. We thank you for what you are doing in our lives, how you are preparing us, oh God, Lord God, to go out, Lord God, to be witnesses, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for this place where we can come, Lord God, to be fed, Lord God, oh God, by the man of God in Jesus' name, Lord God, who have who you have ordained, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh God, to be the shepherd of this house in the name of Jesus, oh God. So Father, we just pray, Lord God, that today, God, that you would speak to us 
us, Jesus, Lord God, to our very needs, Lord God, because you are the only one, Lord God, who knows the very de desires of our hearts, oh God, in Jesus' name. So I pray, Lord God, that we would cast our cares on you, for you care for us, oh God. I pray that we would lay aside every weight and sin, oh God, that so easily ensnares us, oh God, and that we wouldn't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we bind and we break all works of the enemy in this place, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. And I declare, Lord God, that we will get the victory in Jesus' name, Lord God. I declare that we have the victory in you in Jesus' name, Lord God. That we will be victorious as we go throughout the, uh, this next week in the name of Jesus, oh God. We will not be defeated, Lord God, because we are overcomers, Lord God. We are more than conquerors, Lord God, through Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah to God, we thank you, Lord God, for the blood of a shadow Calvary, oh God, for us in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, we thank you that we are redeemed, oh God. We thank you, God, for life in you, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for, Lord God, that you, Lord God, came to give us life and life more abundant. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. I pray that you would have your way, oh God, in this place, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Anoint the singers, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, I pray, oh God, that they would sing praises unto you, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, that every everybody's heart, Lord God, would be focused on you in this place in this morning, God. They wouldn't be worrying about the person next to them, Jesus. They wouldn't be worrying about how they sound or how they look, oh God. Oh God, but they would, they would, Lord God, they would just keep their minds stayed on you, oh God, so that, they're, so that they are kept in perfect peace in the name of Jesus, oh God. Have your way in this place, oh God. We need more of you, God. We need more of you, so fill us, oh God. Fill us in the name of Jesus. Bless the man of God as he brings forth the word, God. In Jesus' name, anoint him, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, and I just pray, oh God, that you would just have your way, oh God. God, that we would leave your change today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we are truly living in the last and evil days, oh God. And we need to be light Lord God, to this world, God, to this dark world, we need to go out and be lights, Jesus. In Jesus' name, Lord God, I pray that we would go out and not forget about, you know, the people around us, Lord God, that we wouldn't be selfish, Lord God, and keep you to ourselves in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Oh God, we thank you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. God, hallelujah, truly there is nobody like our God, hallelujah, and we came to bless him on today, hallelujah, yes, Jesus God, as we go into worship, hallelujah, we just pray that you all join with us, God, in the name of Jesus, God, because there is nobody like our God, Jesus, we thank you, God.
As gracious Father, we come to you that day thanking for praise, worship. Thank you for the team today. Thank you for those that are gathered in this place. Thank you for those that are joining us on Facebook, YouTube, media. I pray whatever their needs are today that you're granted in the name of Jesus. Now look on your servant as I minister to your people today. Whatever they stand in the need of, I pray that you send it through your word. We graciously give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. God will say amen. Come on, you may be seated in the house of the Lord. We thank God for another chance to be in this house. And thank God for praise and worship. Nobody like Jehovah. You can think about all the other people in the world that claim to be okay. But there's nobody like Jehovah. Abraham learned a long time ago that he is our provider. Whatever you need, he will provide for you. And we're just happy to be here. We're happy to be back in the house of God one more time. We certainly have enjoyed word coming over the last few weeks from various ones. And I don't know about you, but my soul has been fed. And now I'm hungry again, so I have to eat again. And this, this message, this food is not just for you, but it's for me also. Thank you for joining in with us today. And I, I pray that as we go into his eternal word today, that something will be said that will get you a little closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Bible declares that heaven and earth may pass away. But God's word will stand forever. It is that word that we desire to share with you today. I know there has been, it's been a good week and it's been a good day. But we still need some more of God's word. 
We've been hearing the word ever since we've been saved, but we still need more of God's word. I, I, I think the word of God, because it's a living uh, uh, book, it's a living document, uh, you can never get all the essence out of, out of it. You can read the same scripture every day, and there will be something new in that scripture. Uh, those of us that have been studying his word, we know that although we've read it before and we, we do it again, we get something out of God's word. Today our lesson is found in the book of Daniel's chapter number 10. Daniel chapter number 10 verses 1 through 21. Our study text for the day. Very familiar uh, scripture. Uh, we've heard it over and over and over again. But the amazing thing about it, we haven't heard it today. So this is a, a new day, and we're looking for God to do something new. Thank you, Jesus. I, I love to cook, and I get in the kitchen, and from time to time, I will try something new. Uh, although I've cooked before, and I've cooked the same item before, I will always try something new because we never get everything we need to get out of what we are doing. Daniel chapter number 10, as you join with us and you got your Bibles turned to there, great is thou faithfulness, great is thou faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercy I see all I have needed thou hand hath provided great is thou faithfulness Lord unto me Daniel chapter number 10, verses 1 through 21, our steady text. I'd like you to look with us at our noted text today. And these words are recorded. Then he said unto me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. Somebody say, your words were heard. And I have come because of words. From the first day that thou set your mind, or set your heart to understand, and to unhumble yourself before your God, your words were heard. And I have come because there are many types of prayers. The Bible speaks of prayers of supplications. And this is the one most of us are familiar with. It is the one that we always ask for something. Most of our prayers are centered around, Lord, do this for me. Lord, go there for me. Lord, bring this one back. Lord, send this one away. It is always centered around something from God, a help from God. There's also the prayer of imprecation, which deals with an oath. Lord, if you do this for me, I will do this for you. I promise, Lord, if you get me out of here, I'll serve you all the days of my life. Anybody familiar with that? If you just get me out of get get me through this one, get me out of this one, I, 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 I'm here, Lord, I'll not, never leave you again. Then there's prayers of intercession when we pray for others. So there are many ways that we can communicate, and prayer is communication with God. And because we are communicating with God, 
we take the time to allow God to talk back to us. It is real bad when you have a companion, loved one, friend, and you do all the talking. And, and there are folks that will not allow you to get a word in sideways. <laughs> they do all the talking. But in, in Revelation chapter number 8, it describes the prayers of the saints. And they have come up as a memorial before God. And they are found in a, a vow. And, and the, 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 the elders and those that are gathered around the throne are, are looking there and admiring the prayers of the saints. If you notice in Revelation, it does not distinguish what type of prayers they are. Are y'all still with me? Just stay with me for a little bit. Because there are many ways to communicate. Uh, audibly, we can talk to one another. It could be face to face or over the phone. Uh, we could text. Anybody like to text? There are people I know they would not respond from, from a voice message, but if you text them, they'll respond right away. Because uh, that's the little time we are living in. And we text because we don't want to put no emotion with it. Because when you're face to face, you have to show some type of emotion. And most people can read you from your facial expression or your bodily expression, uh, what, whether you are serious or not. Are y'all still with me? And, and, and then there's the email, and I mean, the list just goes on. I, I'll never forget, it was not long ago, I, I, I was intending, somebody say intending, uh, uh, to send a text, and I wrote it out, and I, I, I made sure everything was spelled correctly, and I did not hit the button. <laughs> and somebody said, been there and done that. And all of a sudden, you think that the message has been gone, uh, and it's still there. Uh, <laughs> but after you send the message, somebody said, push the button. There, there is three process of a message, and, and number one, uh, take this with you. Uh, it, it can either stay with you. <laughs> it don't necessarily have to go to the next person. I just described it. When I thought I was sending a message. Some people pray. <laughs> and it stays right there with them. If your prayers is not reaching God, then that means it's still with you. Somebody say, push the button. Push the button. Then there's number two, the prayers or the communication that reaches heaven. Anybody know that your prayer reaches heaven? Yeah. I mean, do you really know? Yeah. And, and then number three is after it reaches heaven, your, your prayers can be detained in the air. In other words, God answered it, <laughs> but it can't get back through the air. Come on. Come on. Because the devil is the prince yeah. and the power yeah. of the air. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody don't want you to get an answer. But I, I, I want to leave a topic with you. Can you get heaven's attention? Can you, not the pastor, can you get heaven's attention? Can you pray? Can you communicate with God until heaven stops and respond to your request? I know we got this repetitious thing. We've been taught ever since we've been a child to repeat, repeat prayers. But I'm not talking about repeating prayers. I'm talking about getting your prayer through. 
You say, yes, Pastor, I, I believe God hear me, but there are, some, there, is, there are some requirements that you must meet in order for God to hear your prayers. First of all, you can't be a sinner. But <laughs> God heareth not a sinner. But if any man be a worshiper of him, he heareth. So whether you are in church, he said, well, I belong to Praise Temple. And we know Praise Temple prayers get through. Amen. Yes, but the question is, can your prayer <laughs> get through? Doesn't matter what Praise Temple does. Doesn't matter what those that stand up here every Sunday morning and pray to God and house, you know, get all excited and, and the are broken and uh, everything is put into place but it, the question is can you get heaven's attention so we go into our scripture lesson today in Daniel chapter 10 uh, verse number 1 and we'll read through it a little bit but we're not going to read everything uh, in the year of Cyrus king of Persia a message was revealed to Daniel whose name was Bezenzer uh, this message was true. The message was true, but the appointed time was long. And he understood the message, and he and had understanding of the vision. Something that puzzles me about this 10th chapter is that Daniel understood the message, and he had an understanding of the vision. Then what was it that he was praying for? Think about it. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Verse number two. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant, pleasant, pleasant food. No meat or wine came into my mouth. Nor did I anoint myself at all. Till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Somebody said three whole weeks. It leads us into our life point, and, and it was okay for Daniel, but when we go to life point number one, uh, the, the question is asked, are you really sh serious about what you need from the Lord? Are you really serious of what, about what you want or need from the Lord? Because sometimes we act serious. We act as though we are serious concerning God's, uh, what you, we want from God. We come to the altar. We cry. We boo-hoo. But that's not seriousness. That's emotion. Daniel was so serious. So why would he have to pray three weeks? Fast three weeks. If he understood the vision. Because he wanted to get clarity. Sometimes you, things come to you and you think it's from God. Uh, anybody ever been there? You know that the devil is a spirit also? <laughs> and, and he speaks things to you and, and you listen and you can declare, I heard the word of God. But you need to get serious about the things you are hearing. And most people are not even serious about the message they hear on Sunday. Because they never think about it anymore the rest of the week. Are you serious about what you need from the Lord? When life issues hit you the right way, you get serious. Anybody ever been there and done that? Because sometimes things hit you so hard, it will cause you to put everything on hold. Ah, oh, y'all not hearing me today. You may not have been there yet. But just hold on a little while longer. Things going to hit you so hard in life that everything, you got to stop everything and turn to God. Then you put everything on hold. No, no eating, no drinking, and no working. He just laid himself before God for 21 days. Three whole weeks he prayed before God. Thank you, Jesus. 
And then he goes on to say in verse number four, now on the 24th day of the month, as I was by the side of a great river, that is the Tyrus. Verse, some, verse number five said, and I lifted my eyes and looked and behold, a certain man clothed in linen whose waist was girded with gold of Aphaz, or Aphaz. Uh, someone say, but God. If you notice in verse number four, the first, ver the first word says, now. On, now. Now, if we were writing this, we would have said, but on the 24th day. Yes. But the scripture says, now on the 24th day. So, so I heard, I heard it. In the book of Hebrew chapter number 11 and verse 1 says, now faith. And it wasn't until I read this scripture that I understood some of the essence of what Hebrew was saying. Because we could have said, but faith is. <laughs> Y'all yeah. not there yet. But, but it says, now faith is. Which means the moment I believe what God says, faith will work for me. Who help me, Jesus. And he said, he lifted up his voice and behold, and clothes in linen whose waist was girded with gold and up fast. And verse 6 said, his body was like burl, his face like the appearance of lightning, his eyes like torch of fire, his arms and feet like varnish uh, bronze in color, and the sound of his words like the voice of a multitude. And he said, I, Daniel, verse 7, alone saw the vision. I alone saw the vision. For the men who were with me did not see the vision, but a great terror fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. While everyone else is running and hiding, God is speaking to you. I wish you take that. I wish you hear that. While everybody else is running, and afraid God is speaking to you. I think one of the things that got us through the pandemic uh, this far is because we were listening to what God was saying to us. And although people were dying on every hand, although every place you turn, people were being affected by the virus, but because God kept on speaking, we, we have made it until this day. Yeah. Ooh, can you get a... Can you get heaven's attention? Ooh, even in a pandemic, can you get heaven's attention? I told you on last week, I was talking about uh, what is happening in India, where the false, those that have worshipped false gods all their lives are now taking the false gods. Because if you make them, if you made them, you can destroy them. And they, they're taking the false gods and throwing them in the road and running over them with bulldozers because they said, we've been praying all this time and you haven't done nothing for us. We've been calling on you all this time and you haven't done nothing for us. I'm so glad that they, that we serve God. There is no wondering in my mind, there is no doubt in my heart that we serve a God that will answer prayer. We serve a God that will come to your rescue. We serve a God that when you need him, he'll be right there on time. We serve a mighty God. Oh, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. And sometimes when everybody else is running, we know that God is speaking. Mm. Something, something came to me this morning when I was preparing myself uh, to get ready for church and, and I thought about the government and, and the focus in the last few years was on the government and the church. And this came to my spirit and I, it, it says don't worry about the government because they're going to have their own problems. They ain't going to have enough time to deal with the church. <laughs> You say, why, Pastor? If you notice that there are rebellious folks 
that are rebellion, rebelling against the government. It's not the church. It, it, it is all these other beliefs, that system that are coming up, that is rebellion, rebelling against the government. We have them here in our state house. They're in Congress up in D.C. They, they told them, uh, uh, they said, everybody who come into the house, and I'm not talking about y'all. We know why some of us are wearing masks and some of us not. But they says to the, the, the congressmen, the representatives, said, you must wear a mask. There are some come in and say, well, I'm not wearing it. <laughs> and then on February, January 6th, you know what happened. There was, a, there was an attack on the Capitol. So the government got their hands full. So if the congressmen and senators think they need to be writing legislation for the church, they better think about something else. The Lord said, don't worry about them. They'll have their own problems. Who I wish somebody hear me today. And then Daniel goes on to say in verse number 8, Therefore I was left alone when I saw this great vision, and no strength remaineth in me, for my vigor was turned to furtivity in me, and I retained no strength. Yet I heard the sound of his word. I don't care how weak you get in God, you can still hear his word. Yeah. Mm. You, you may not even be able to get up off the floor, but as long as you can hear a word from the Lord. Ah, I wish somebody hear me. Sometimes we blot out the word of God, and we think emotion's going to get it. We think the music's going to get it. We think the songs that are being sung going to get it, but you need a word from the Lord. You need to hear something from God. You need to hear God say, you can make it. Doesn't matter how hard times get. Doesn't matter how troublous thing your home is. You need to hear a word from God that says you can make it. Verse number nine said, yet I heard the song of his word. While I heard the sound of his word, I was in a deep sleep on my face, with my face to the ground. Uh, I look at somebody and say, I know what I heard. Thank you, Jesus. You need to know whether you've heard a word from God or whether you heard a word from man. Right now, there's a lot of words being given out all over this country. Every side you turn, somebody's giving out a word. Well, sister, the Lord told me this about you. Brother, the Lord told me this. Well, what did the word of God say? I really don't need a prophet or prophetess to tell me what the word of God said. I just need to hear the word of God. And the word of God, you know what? It, it don't have to even have to na have a name on it. <laughs> and you just got to send it out into the atmosphere. Everybody sitting in here today, I don't care how you came and I don't care who you came with. If this word is designed for you, I don't even have to call your name. It's going to get to you. The word says, my word will not go and return to me void. So if the word is for you today, if your prayers are not getting heaven attention, then this word is for you. And if your, your prayers are getting with God's attention, this word is still for you. I, I want you to know today that there is a word for you. It's not coming from pastor. It's not coming from bishop. But it's coming from the Lord. Lord. Oh, Jesus. Somebody say, I know what I heard. Then verse number 10 says, suddenly a hand touched me, <laughs> which made me tremble on my knees and on the palms of my hand. Somebody say, he touched me. There was a song we used to sing, oh, what joy. Feel my soul. Something happened, but now, you know, I used to wonder what it was, but now I know. Who touched you? <laughs> Ooh, somebody touched me. 
Verse 11, he says, And he said unto me, O Daniel, man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you, and stand upright, for I have now been sent to you. That's when you know that you have communicated with heaven. When God sends an angel to talk to you, to tell you your words have been heard. I wish somebody listen to me now. Then he goes on to say, for, for I have now been sent to you, and while you were speaking this word to me, I stood trembling. For some reason, Daniel is still uh, afraid, and not, not in a bad way, but he just don't understand what is going on. He's in the presence of God. He's in the presence of God's messenger, and he don't understand yet what is going on. Uh, look at somebody that's standing for his word. Thank you, Jesus. I, I heard many preachers said, Cheston said it a few weeks ago or the other week. It said, while I'm reading the word of God, I ask everybody to stand. And when you know a word is coming from God, it is, for, it is okay to stand. Because uh, the Bible said when he started speaking the word to Daniel, Daniel stood on his feet. Uh, all before he was prostrated before God. All before he was, had his face to the earth. But when the word came coming, start coming, Daniel had to stand to his feet. Although he might have been trembling, he had to stand up on his feet uh, before the word. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. And verse number 12 said, And he said unto me, Don't fear. Uh, it's something about the word of God takes away fear. Oh, I, will, I believe somebody hear me. Uh, the word of God is not intended to make you fearful. And I know many people ran to the altar because they were fearful. I'll never forget. Uh, almost 30 or 40 years ago, uh, there was a movie that came out uh, talking about the, bur the burning hell. Uh, and they played it at our church. Uh, and every soul in the building ran to the altar and started crying, Lord, I don't want to go to hell. And, and nowadays, we play it and they look at it and say, oh, okay. <laughs> the fear is gone. But God don't want you to be fearful. He wants you to be obedient. And it says that for the first day that you set your heart to understand, to humble yourself before God, your words were heard. Somebody been praying for a long time. But if you presented yourself in the right manner, I just stopped by today to let you know that the word of God said your words been heard. And I'm just standing up here because of your word. <laughs> Y'all didn't understand that. If there's nothing about me, there, there's no thing special about me. I'm just standing here because of your word. Because you prayed many years ago and said, Lord, send somebody to tell me a word. Send somebody to help me in my spiritual walk. Send somebody to help me to be saved. Send somebody to help me be delivered. Send somebody to help me be healed. And God just sent me for your word. There's a lot of things that I could have been doing in life. But I'm here because of your word. Verse 13 says, But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. And behold, Michael, one of the chief prince, he, he came and helped me. For I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. In other words, so that the Lord sent another angel to fight. Who help me, Jesus? <laughs> he sent someone because your word was on its way. Look at somebody and say, your word was on its way. But it was detained in heaven. Oh, Jesus. In the air, it was detained. The angel of God was trying to get you a message. Ever since you first prayed, the message was coming. But the prince of Persia, which is Satan himself, detained and fought with the messenger. But God dispatched, dispatched Michael, the archangel. 
Jah. And he contended with that of Prince of Persia. And therefore, last week, I got my answer. Therefore, on yesterday, I got my answer. Therefore, today, somebody's going to get an answer. You prayed for a long time. You sought God for a long time. You weep at night for a long time. You cried in the midnight hour for a long time. But your answer is on the way. Oh, Jesus. Your answer is on the way. I don't care how long it might have been, but your answer is on the way. You need to get serious about what you want from God. You need to get serious about how you want God to deliver you. You need to get serious about what you want God to do in your life. I came today to tell you, if you trust him, come on, give God some praise in this building. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I gotta let it out. Look at somebody and say, I've got a praise. I've got a praise. And I gotta let it out. This old collar was holding my praise. So I had to loosen up. Because I've got to let it out. So it says uh, Michael came and he fought against the king of Persia. It leads us to our next life point. Who's fighting for you? Mm. Who's fighting for you? I'll never forget in, in the post office I, I did something right after I got through my cancer ordeal. And... If you miss three days out of work, if you're sick, then the fourth day you're supposed to get a doctor's excuse. Well, I missed like five days. And I came to work and I noticed that the supervisor was acting kind of funny. And he walked past me and said, Eugene, I need to talk with you. He kept on walking. I said, okay. He came back, let's go to the office. I get into the office and I notice that the union representative was sitting there. I knew something was up right then. So I stood, you don't have a seat? No, I stand right here. I fold my arm and I listen. And boy, he went up one side of me and came down the other one. And he threatened me. I, this guy went on for almost 30 minutes. The union rep, she was a lady, she tried to intervene and said, well, what if he get a doctor's excuse? It's too late. Da, 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 da. He just went on. But you need to know who's fighting for you. And when he got through finished, he said, what do you have to say for yourself? I said, George, and his name was George. George might be listening now. <laughs> so you do whatever you have to do. And that really made him upset. And that was it. I walked out and nothing never happened. <laughs> Who's? <laughs> see, see, a lot of these folks that have gotten killed by the police. If they just had somebody fighting for them. Never fight for yourself. When I was growing up, I'm, I'm the youngest of 13. I never fought for myself. You mess with me. Abraham, Theodore, sister. <laughs> Y'all didn't get it. Who's fighting for you? you? You didn't have to worry about me. You need to worry about my bigger, my larger brothers and sisters. Don't worry about whether you can whip me or not. That's right. <laughs> you need to be able to take care of my big brother. Oh, y'all not here. Me. So devil, don't worry about me. You need to worry about Michael. 
They tell me those angels are so powerful, they can put one feet on the earth and another feet on the sea. Y'all ain't hear me. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said when they talk, it sounds like many waters. You haven't got to God yet. You're just dealing with the angels. You say, well, the devil is powerful. When the devil rebuked and, and, and started cutting up in heaven, the Lord sent an angel. Kick him and one third of the angels out. So I don't know about the angels the devil got with him. But I do know about the angels the Lord has with him. And the angels that God has kick the angels that the devil has out of heaven. Who's fighting for you? Mm -mm. I don't care how the devil fight. God's word will get to you. Many of you right now, you wrestle so much with the devil that you can't really get to God. You're, and see, when the devil come looking for you, it's something else. But when you look for him, Because we know he's coming. Anybody else in here know that the devil is coming? And as soon as we get out here, he's going to come. In fact, right now, while we're in here, he already came. Everybody is online. Look at somebody. Not everybody is online. Some of you saying right now, Pastor, if you just hurry up and finish, I'll be feel all right. But you better hope you get a word from God. Oh, Jesus, because uh, cause if you don't get that word from God, uh, the, the angels that, is, that are fighting against you, the evil angels, may succeed in what they're doing. But I come to warn you today that you need to hear the word of God. You need to hear what God is saying in your life. If I hadn't listened to God, if I hadn't listened to his word, I wouldn't be here today. But because I listened to the word of God, because I trust in the word of God, oh, how sweet it is to be loved by Jesus. Every day gets sweeter than the day before. Every time I look around, there's a blessing coming. Every time I look around, there's a door being opened. Every time I look around, he's doing something else. Ooh. Man, I wouldn't take nothing for God. Now, I don't know about y'all. You might throw in your towel right now, but I'm not taking nothing for God. I love the God I serve. Ooh, I love him. And let's go on down to verse 18. Then again, the one having the likeness of a man touched me and strengthened me Otherwise, he touched me again. Look at somebody and say, he touched me again. In verse 19, and it says, And he said unto me, O man greatly beloved, fear not, peace be with you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. So when he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. You don't know what you can get out of the word of God when God starts speaking to your heart. He will strengthen you. He will make you strong. And it brings us uh, uh, to life point number three. And, and we've been talking about a lot of things today because time is winding up and we got to carry this thing on home. Uh, we got to, like uh, Pastor Patterson say, you got to know when to park it. And, and we got we to gotta get on home with this thing. But the third life point say, do you have any words out there? Thank you, Jesus. We talked about and that the angel came for his word uh, but I want to know to, to you uh, do you have any words out there? Uh, have you spoken anything to God lately that you haven't gotten an answer for you? Uh, I can tell you right now there's many words that I still have 
out there. But I'm still depending on God to send an answer for my word. See, I've been talking with God, and he's been talking with me. But he hadn't responded to all of my needs. Oh, y'all not hear me. He hadn't responded to all my requests. He hadn't fixed everybody I prayed for yet. He hadn't corrected every situation I I went to him for yet. But I still believe. Look at somebody and say, I still believe that he's going to fix it after a while. I still believe that he's going to work it out. After a while, I still believe that he's going to do it after a while. Why? Because I I was able to get heaven's attention. I don't know how long it's going to take for the word to reach me, but I do know that I've gotten heaven's attention. I know that my word uh, is not here with me. Uh, it has gone uh, to where it was intended to go. Uh, now I'm just standing uh, and waiting uh, on the word. Uh, oh, Jesus, help me. Uh, many of you came in here today uh, and you're still waiting uh, on God's word. Uh, you're still waiting. Uh, for God to come uh, to your rescue. Uh, you're still waiting uh, for God to send that wearful child uh, back home. Uh, you're still waiting uh, for God to straighten out uh, that husband. Uh, you're still waiting uh, for God uh, to straighten out that wife. Uh, you're still waiting uh, for God uh, to help those parents. Uh, you're still waiting uh, for God to help that sister to help that brother but I just stopped by to let you know that help is on the way whatever you've been praying for help is on the way whatever you've been seeking God for help is on the way you prayed over and over but I just stopped by to let you know that heaven that is that heaven has your name on the roll heaven heard your words heaven heard your prayers and there's somebody on the way there's somebody on the way uh, that's gonna help you uh, that's gonna deliver you uh, that's gonna break through for you there's somebody uh, fighting uh, right now uh, for you uh, there's somebody making a way uh, right now uh, for you uh, you say pastor uh, how do you know then it goes down uh, to my conclusion I know because I prayed. I know because I prayed. Anybody here prayed today? Anybody here been praying? If you've been praying, why are you worried? And if you're gonna worry, why did you pray? I prayed. I prayed. To Jesus, and I know when the righteous pray, their prayers availeth much. I know that God heareth my prayer. I want to know do we hear you? Do we hear you? If that's the word for you, I want you to do like Daniel did. If this is a word for you, I want you to stand uh, to your feet uh, and say, that's my word. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You got to understand, you might have been weak uh, all week long. Uh, you been uh, down and out uh, all week long. Uh, but God's word uh, came uh, to strengthen you. Uh, 
you can be strong now. You can be victorious now. You can be a conqueror now. Because you've got now a word. That word was intended for you. For you. For you. For you. I can see the chains breaking. I can see the dungeon doors opening. I can see bodies being healed. I can see sons being delivered. I can see daughters being saved. I can see a brand new day because of the word. Because of the word. We prayed. We communicated. We talked with God. And now we just waited on his word. Look at somebody and say, I'm just standing, waiting. I'm just standing, hoping. I'm just standing, believing. I'm just standing, depending. I'm just standing, waiting for God. I prayed. Anybody in this house prayed? Anybody on YouTube, Facebook prayed? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Because I prayed, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. You say, well, Pastor, Pastor, pray, prayer must be didn't work. Because this look like I can't get out of this situation I'm in. My job is to pray. After I communicate with heaven, all I have to do then is wait. He may not come today. He may not come tomorrow. But if he have to whip you and drag you in with your feet, you're coming. Some, somebody said, I'll never come back to church. Oh, yes, you will. If you out there have to roll you down this eye in a coffin, you're coming back. God's going to bring you back alive or dead. Look at somebody's their warrant is on your life. Alive or dead. You don't have to come. You don't have to depend on God. But there is a warrant out for you. And God's going to arrest you one way another. Those of you that are in the ark, just stay in here. Just stay with God. God's got you. Look at somebody. He's got your back. I've, I've prayed. Have you prayed? We get ready to go home. If you prayed, and you know it communicated with heaven for the next few seconds I want you to give God come on come on give him some praise give him some praise give him some praise give him some praise I feel it, Lord. I feel it. I feel the strength. I feel the anointing. I feel the touch. You are here. He's here right now. Whatever you need, He's here right now. He's here to touch you. He's here to deliver you. He's here to break you out. He's here to heal your body. Whatever you need right now. Give it to God. 
give it to God. You don't have to come to the altar right where you are. Just begin to praise Him with everything you got for every need, for every circumstance, for every situation. Just give it to God right now. And say, Lord, here I am. I'm standing in the need of prayer. I'm hoping. I'm waiting. I'm depending. I'm trusting. I'm believing. I'm having faith that you can do it right now. Do it for me, Lord. Do it for me, Lord. Do it for me, Lord. Do it. attention can you get heaven's attention right now praise him until heaven hears praise him till heaven hears thank you Jesus we don't have to be conservative we can let it go we can let it go God want to do something in this house God want to do something in this house let it go let it go let it go let it go shake heaven Shake the throne of God. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yes. 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 I feel like he's walking through this place right now. I feel his presence in this house right now. Whatever you need. Whatever you expect, whatever you want, God will do it right now. I pray for those that are gathered in this place. I pray for those that are listening on media right now. I pray God send revival, send revival, fill with the Holy Ghost right now in this house. Let your concerns kind of glory fill this house right now in the name of Jesus. I come against every sickness, every disease, every hindrance in the name of Jesus. I come against those that are walking disorderly. I pray that you will touch them right now, Lord. Change. Change. Change, Lord. In this house, we don't want to be no longer like we used to be. Do it for us right now. Do it for us right now. Do it for us right now. Play day is over. Lord, help us to be serious. Help us to be serious. Help us to be serious right now in the name of Jesus. If you do it for us, if you do it for us, we're going to praise you. We're going to praise you. We're going to magnify you. We're going to give you glory. We're going to give you honor. We're going to give you praise. Can you get heaven's attention? Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get heaven's attention? Can you get it? That's a personal question to an individual. Can you get it? Lord, we thank you for your word today. 
thank you for your blessing. To those that are listening by media, thank you for them. And right now we are praying for them, praying for this house that you'll do far beyond what we are ask or think. Do it for us. We forever be mindful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor. We ask these in Jesus' name. If you're listening today and you have a special prayer request, our number is on the screen, 907-258-9682. Someone will be praying for you for your prayer request. Thank you to all of those that have called in. We do hear your requests. And in the name of Jesus, we will open up to hear from God. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be all right, Cindy. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Gracious Father, we thank you for Sydney. We pray your blessing upon her, even as she travel all from here to there. Bless her in the airways, the sky. Bless her on the highway. And return her back safe in the name of Jesus. We bless her now in Jesus' name. God's people say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you said that if we ask, we shall receive. Our dear sister says she needs strength. It is because of her request we stand before you right now. Strengthen her right now. Let that word that has been given saturate her heart, mind, and soul in the name of Jesus. Strengthen her right now. No more weakness. No more falling back. No more canceling. No more giving up. But right now in the name of Jesus, touch your body. Touch your spirit. Strengthen her right now. Let the joy of salvation fill her right now. She can do it. She can do it. With you, Lord, we can do all things. Right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, touch Emmanuel. Bless his heart. Keep him, Lord. He's been striving. He's been pushing. He's been pressing his way. Lord, strengthen him too. Even as we go forth this day forward, I pray that you give him everything he needs. Give him a mind to press forward. Give him a mind to continue to trust you. In the name of Jesus, do it for him. In Jesus' name, bless your son. You are my strength. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah.
need you to do one more thing. Keep on singing this. The word said, you lift me up. I want you to reach to your neighbor, wherever they're sitting at right now. And I want you to just lift them up out of their seats right now. Whoever's sitting next to you, I want you to just lift them up out of their seat. In the name of Jesus. Let them know that you're there for them. Let them know that you're there for them. Let them know that you are there for them. You live. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Thank God for if you may be seated in the house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You preach on to me. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. 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 Thank you. Glory. Glory. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. We thank the Lord for his word today. We pray that his word will be a blessing to you and that it will inspire your heart, mind, and soul. Make sure that you communicate with heaven. And whatever you've trusted God for, believe him. I truly believe that your answer is on the way. Thank you. Sister Harris or Donna, can you give me white envelopes? Just a whole bunch. The bishop was preaching. The Lord said as a prophetic gesture to give everybody a white envelope. Keep this envelope in your Bible or something. It's not magical. It's not super. Uh, uh, I don't have no superpowers, but it's a prophetic gesture that you've got mail. Bishop was talking about that. It was held up in heaven because there was a war going on. And you know, I believe the reason why the war was happening in heaven with Daniel prayer, because of the value of his answer. Your answer has value. And so as we give out these envelopes, it's a sign that what's been held up in heaven has been released. Just give everybody an envelope. It's a sign that your prayer has been answered and you've got mail. I don't know if you've ever waited for a package. I'm one, I'm kind of impatient when I use Amazon and I'm, I'm checking the package. And I love when that thing says, your package has been delivered. And I don't care if I'm at Walmart, I'll put my stuff down. I go home and get my package. So this is the prophetic gesture that you've got mail. Your prayers has been answered in Jesus' name. Thank you. What a word. What a word. Yes, I like that. I, uh, many times I'm at, at work, I'll call Sister McCray and, and, and I, I said, should be a package on the porch. And my phone hit me and said, your package has just been delivered. Yes. And, and the thing about it, you know, sometimes we we be out and, and they don't require signatures at our house. And we get packaged all week, I mean, all the time. And, and they will just leave it on the porch. The neighbor don't come over and say, oh, this is my package. Oh, that's right. That's right. The thief don't ride by and say, there's a package on the porch. And y'all know how many times people have been stealing people's package. Yes, sir. But I'm so glad that the name on that package yes, is Eugene McCray. Yes, and no matter if you come and steal it, yes, it's still not your package. Look at somebody and say, there's a package with my name on it. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 
I, I, I can go home with that one. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. We just happy in the Lord. We are happy to be in the service of God. And we are happy for you being with us. At this time, we are preparing ourselves for giving. Thank you, Jesus. For the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And we here at Praise Temple, we are cheerful about our giving. Because the Lord has been so gracious to us. He has blessed us far beyond what we can ask or think. I, I just can't describe how good the Lord has been to us. So as you prepare yourself for giving, the finance team is coming. Uh, those of you that are online, uh, there are several ways to give. You can give by Cash App, and you can Cash App us at dollar sign Praise Temple Alaska, or you can text the word give to give uh, to 833-676-0308. Or you, if you have the Giveify app, you can search for Anchor, uh, Praise Temple Anchorage, Alaska, and you can find us on Givelify. So the Lord bless you and keep you. Thank you for being a supporter of this ministry and supporting us uh, down through the years. And may God bless you. Thank you for joining in with us. And we hope to see you the next time. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' name, we'll see you the next time. Praise Temple, we are ready for our offering.